What's up, kings and queens? I am Divine. Thank you so much for your time, and I'm so grateful that we have a line. Welcome or welcome back to the monarchy. Okay, so I'm finishing up the prophetic words. Hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Love to all of you guys. Um, so I'm doing the prophetic messages. I do the prophetic messages by tribe. If you want to know what tribe you're in, I posted in the community tab the scripture that Holy Spirit gave me for you guys so that you can read that and help let God minister to you through it. But basically the tribes represent either a season, it can represent a multitude of things, honestly. It can be uh, some purpose that you, God wants to communicate to you, some characteristic, God wants to communicate to you, some blessing or some warning or uh, uh, something about your bloodline, right? It could be a variety of different things. So really, and it could be something permanent where like every time I post, this is your message, or it could be something that is just for a certain amount of time or just one, one message or whatever it is, right? So talk to God about it. It's important to actually have that relationship, right? You do not get to need to get information from prophets and prophetess and pastors and all this stuff. You, if you have your own relationship with God, right? All of these things are just tools that God provides to help, right? Of course. So, the spirit of the Lord. This is the tribe of Dan, okay? And oh, by the way, I, I do the spirit medicine in a separate. I do it in conjunction with these messages, but I do the spirit medicine in a separate video. Which the spirit medicine is me talking about how to combat witchcraft with naturopathic and holistic techniques and methods, right? And also the breakdown of different areas of the spirit that you know witchcraft is used on, okay, utilized on, okay. So the spirit of the Lord is what is being focused on for the tribe of Dan, okay? So this is the the spirit that is associated with your connection to the spirit realm, right? Your connection to God, right? With also, you know, your spiritual intuition, I guess you could say, your spiritual connectivity, right? All, all, all of those things, okay? Obviously, it's the spirit of the Lord, like, the, the, it's in the name, right? <laughs> so, that is what's being focused on or worked through or worked on or healed or tested. Whatever God is doing at this time, that is the focus for, for whoever this message is for, okay? So, the song that I got was The Fighting Temptations, He Still Loves Me um, by Beyonce. And I caught the name too, the name Fighting Temptation. So, that might be what's, you know... And when the spirit of the Lord is is what God is highlighting, that is usually really important because, like I said, that is the part of your spirit that that is that connectivity with God, right? With God itself, right? And so that's an area that a lot of people witchcraft or the devil might try to attack, or or you might have imbalances in, okay? Which opens the door for the devil to attack. So fighting temptations, like that, might be the story of your life right now right where you're literally fighting temptation you're battling with different temptation they've been different you know uh wars you're you're, you're going to war right now you're going to war right now with with, with the devil because he's trying to block off your your connectivity with god he's trying to get you to behave or act or think and do in ways that you know are not in alignment with the spirit of god right and so what I got was, you have come a long way, but you feel like you finally made it to where you're supposed to be. Or this is what is coming for you. And you do or will want to testify how when you were down and when you were picked on and when you were talked about by people who you thought were your friends or family. But now you have a new life, right? And if this doesn't happen, this is what's coming to you. Right? I'm not one of those people who are going to say like, oh, it should be something that God is already confirming. That's not true. I don't know where people are getting this from. I don't. It's not biblically, it's not biblically accurate. Like nowhere in the Bible did somebody prophesy and they were like, oh yeah, I felt that in my spirit. <laughs> no, they were surprised. They're like, what? Really? <laughs> it's literally the definition of prophecy. Okay. Anyways, another video for another time. Sorry, Holy Spirit. Bring me back. Thank you um if that's the but yeah if this is not 
happening yet this is this is what's coming for you okay you do or want to testify i'm gonna read it again you do or will want to testify how when you were down you were picked on you were talked about by people who you thought were your friends and your family but now you have a new life you know that you will fall short of god's glory but you know that he still loves you you are humble and you don't exalt yourself you know you're not worthy of god's grace and mercy but you know he still loves you you learned that one day you can be on top of the world but the next it's on top of you you've dealt with depression and laziness and lack of motivation you've heard all the opinions of those who have never done what you are doing or have never been where you've been or gone through what you've gone through they have never been in your position but you know who you are and you know what matters and that's god you know who god says you are and that's what matters amen okay and this is what the lord is saying i know you aren't perfect and that you do wrong but i know you try your best when you walk with me you will be shunned by the world at times and their ideas of success and worthiness will be different from yours raise your hands to me and praise me and give me thanks for i for how i have blessed you to be praise me for making you a mind stand for me or fall for anything through my eyes you are all the same and the pain that you endure will and has brought you closer to me don't focus on what the world says you're worth focus on what i said about you you are made in my image and then i got the number 303 which is like mirroring you know what i mean 303 right you are made in my image and i love you because i know your heart 303 might also be a certain date a certain time a certain birthday a certain date that somebody passed right whatever right look up i, I i'm not feeling led to look up look it up so i'm not going to okay so i'm gonna read the scripture now the scripture that i got for that was first john 4 9 through 11. <laughs> i'm hearing this song in my head <laughs> first john first john first john little john okay let me stop <laughs> get it together four nine the 11 okay god showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him this is real love not that we love god but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins dear friends god since loved us that much we surely wait since god loved us that much we surely ought to love each other right so yes, God is saying like, I I gave I gave my life for you. That's how much I love you. Even when you didn't love me, right? Imagine you dying for somebody who literally doesn't love you. Not only do they not love you, but they don't even like you. Not only do they not love you or not like you, but they don't even know you. Imagine. Imagine. Would you? <laughs> right i mean sure you can think of like oh yeah you're so noble uh, yeah i would but mm, mm, would you <laughs> right like that's crazy like that's crazy for god to do that for us right and that's what god is saying like even when you you messing up and you you know doing this you doing that you having to go through this, this, that listen i loved you even before you even knew who i was so my love is definitely not going to change now that you know who I was and I see you're trying. I see you have a heart after me, but you're a human. You, you are going to slip. You, you're literally built that way. <laughs> right? Literally. So it's like that. that that is the magnitude. Like it's not even comprehensible how much God loves us. Right? And that, that's just what God's trying to communicate. Okay. And then 1 John 1, 9. First John 1, 9, and it reads, 
But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Okay, so remember, confess your sins, repent, and God will forgive you, right? And it's like, this is something that you know. This is something that you learn. That you learn that like the grace, the grace that God gives you. And you are learning to extend that same grace to yourself, regardless of what people out in the world are saying. You're learning that if God can forgive me, I can forgive myself. If God can love me, I can love myself, right? And that is what God does for us. God teaches us how to walk in the spirit of the Lord right that's why the spirit of the lord is the focus here how to walk like we have god on us but not just on us but in us and to treat ourselves that way to be kind and gentle with ourselves in that way right so now the next song i have is river by trevor jackson and what i got was it's still winter and cold and the holiday season especially if you celebrate the new year in March when it's spring, which is the real new year, right? <laughs> but another move, another video, you know, another day. <laughs> um, and Valentine's Day is coming when I'm making this. And Valentine's Day is coming. So... Oh, yeah. Okay. So then Holy Spirit wanted me to mention that like I knew that a lot of these prophetic words were going to be about love or something about love or romance or relationships just because I was just feeling it. I was just feeling the energy and like the stuff that God was dropping into my spirit. I was like, yeah, a lot of these prophetic messages are going to be about love and stuff. So this one is okay. And, and like a couple of the other ones were too, or, or if not, like a lot of them were. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up um the mood is very much about love and you're you are feeling it and it's making you reminisce on someone who you were with and you feel that you lost them you just want to get comfortable in life and then disappear from the rat race from like you know because he says like i want to make a lot of money and then like get out of this crazy place right and then disappear from the rat race. Rat race. <laughs> so you're thinking about settling down. You want to take part in the joy and the peace, but you feel like you just want to get away and to fly away from the way that you're feeling. You know that you hurt someone and you're really sad about it because you know that this person really loves or loved you and you are really, and they really try to help you out of your apathetic state. You genuinely, you genuinely did love them and had a weak spot for them. Okay, so this is like I don't know. It was it was just different. Like what I got from this, what what like Holy Spirit was really dropping into my spirit is just like. Like you're 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 seeing this is winter time and it's like this lovey dovey season and it's like the family and joy and happiness kind of season and romance kind of season and now you're like really feeling that energy of like man you really want to settle down you really want to get out of you know like the, the the worldly life I guess or where it's just about money or success or achievements or parties and fun and this and that or school or whatever it is like you want to get out of that and so you're thinking like okay i want to have somebody to settle down with this and now you're reminiscing on a person that you're thinking of right and this could be somebody else too like somebody else could be feeling this way about you like this could be it could be vice versa right but take it you know take it how it comes for you but it's yeah, like that. This is this is the way that God gave it to me, so that's the way I'm gonna say it, right? It's like that's that's how you're feeling, where you're like, man, I I really feel like that could have been the person, right? So this is what the Lord is saying. I know you couldn't dig as deep as you wanted to to give this person the love that they deserve. Then I got the number three twenty two and three two three. 
okay and holy spirit is telling me to look that up so it's three two three and three twenty two let's see and strong's three two three Okay, and it means a showing forth. Three, two, three means a showing forth. The proclamation of an, of, of an appointment. Okay. And what's the three, two, two? Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, in three, two, two means to lift up and show, show forth, to proclaim the same thing. That's in Greek, though. Let's see what the Hebrew one means. It means backwards. Yeah, so it's like you're looking backwards right now, right? You're this is hindsight, but also too showing forth. Like God knows, like that's what God is saying. Like you didn't have at the time the capacity to dig as deep as you need to to like bring forth the, the love and the attention and the energy that this person that you know that this person needed or deserved right okay and now you just want to draw drown in your sadness this is the lord again right i know you feel hard to love and you are feeling your flaws this feels like you've lost the best partner you've ever had but this is just growing pains think about how much you've learned and I promise you, I will help you heal. And that goodbye will get easier day by day. You will gain a new perspective on why it didn't and wouldn't have worked out. This is a lesson, not a life sentence. I will help you start again and teach you how to fly in love. But first, you have to crawl. And then I got the song Crawl by, um, by Chris Brown crawl back to love where that's what he says and that's part of the lyrics where he's like we can crawl and until we can walk again and until we can run and then until we can fly again right it's like take baby steps in terms of love okay um and then god let me know that for some of you guys you will be crawling back to love like and you will actually be back with this person but for others it's like this is about new love and for most people like you know, I feel like maybe it's just like one person who like is going to be with like the person who you're thinking about, like who you're reminiscing about. For But for like whoever else, I feel like God is saying that this is going to be new love. Like this, this person, like you're thinking that it, this is the best person, right? Because it's like you're reminiscing. And of course, when we reminisce, sometimes we think about all the good stuff and not like why it didn't work out. When God is saying like, no. Soon enough, like once you go through the healing that God's taking you through, you're going to realize that like, okay, this wasn't like, I see now why it wouldn't work and why it wasn't supposed to work too. Because also God is going to bring in a new love after you've healed to a certain point, right? And then you're going to realize, oh, you know what I mean? Like this, this is the best love, not what I thought was before, okay? And so God is saying this, this relationship was for a learning experience, right? It was a learning curve. Okay, so let's go to the scriptures. Is Matthew 26, 52 through 54. Not the camera coming on. Okay. <laughs> Matthew 26, 52 through 54. Okay. Put away your sword, Jesus told him. Those who use the sword will die by the sword. <laughs> Don't you realize that I could ask my father for thousands of angels to protect us and he would send them instantly? But if I did, how would the scriptures be fulfilled that describe what must happen now? So this is what I'm saying. Like everything is already planned. Right? Like God could ask you what you're like. Maybe you're asking for this person back. God could give you that person back. Right, God can do whatever he wants in an in instant, right? Like what Jesus said, instantly. He can do it instantly. But how would that fulfill what God's purpose is for you, what God's plan, what God's perfect will is for you, for him to just give you what it is that you feel like you want and that when really he knows what you need, right? And so then the other one is John 15, 
31. Okay, John, this is one, 15. I just thought of something. Hold on, wait a minute now. John 15. This is not a verse 31. <laughs> Okay. Maybe I can't read my own. Oh, that's not how my own handwriting. It's Job. <laughs> Job 15. I'm like, what? 31. Okay. And it says, let no let them no longer fool themselves by trust by trusting in empty riches. For emptiness will be their only reward. Yeah, so God is saying, like, like I said, like that that rat race type of energy where you're just like maybe that's all you were focused on before and now you're realizing like that is that doesn't fulfill me like i, I like i've been chasing after this money or accomplishments or success or whatever it is you were chasing after and really what i need is love <laughs> right i don't mean to laugh i'm not laughing at you i'm laughing with you okay you gotta put some humor in there laugh to keep from crying now so um yeah so that's what god is saying like just keep that in mind right keep that in mind moving forward as you heal as you go into new connections right keep that in mind that the things of the world you tried that way you tried to, to, to be fulfilled by the things of the world and you you were still left feeling empty right so now try it god's way okay so i hope this helps i hope this heals don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the bell button if you want to know when i post more and i'll be back deuces